Welcome to the Design It A video learning series. In this tutorial, we will be looking at the new KnitWrite DK font. This is an exciting new set of knitting symbols, which includes a variety of symbols to represent both hand and machine knitting techniques. Symbols used in a pattern will generate both charts and text knitting instructions, which can be printed directly from the program or pasted into word processing or other publishing software to enable you to publish your own patterns. This is an example of a chart. We have the symbols here. This is pick up three floats. You can see the abbreviation here. This is pick up one float. This is purl three together, etc. When I go to my text instructions, these instructions are for knitting the sleeve head. I knit up to row 38, decrease seven stitches, knit 119 stitches, decrease 8 stitches at the start of the next row, knit 110 and then do this decrease at the end, etc. until I get to the end when I purl 102 stitches. This is a more complicated set of in, uh, instructions or abbreviations. Here's our knit and our purl. Here's our purl three together, pick up three floats. This one says here slip one knit wise three times insert left needle from back through all three stitches and knit three together and in fact when I go into my text instructions for this it says here knit ten I'm on the right side of the garment purl ten knit ten purl one here's our knit through the back of the loop three stitches purl one pick up three floats purl two in parentheses twice pick up a float purl three etc so these can be simple instructions or they can be very complicated but well written instructions so that you can accomplish decorative knitting in this particular one is a hand knitting instead of instructions. Let's go to design and knit now. We want to go to the stitch designer section of the program and we're in the stitch designer section of the program right now I have 40 stitches by 40 rows in a default pattern in all blue stitches and all knit stitches. This is my yarn organizer here for my palette. This is my stitch symbols palette that I will show you right now. Palettes, symbols, organizer. This brings up my stitch symbols on the left which is the knit right DK font and this is my palette that we just talked about of stitches that I'm going to want to use in this design. This blue square here indicates which stitches you have currently in your pattern. Right now I only have knit stitches, but we'll be putting in some other stitches in a few minutes. For machine knitting symbols, the smart symbols control the way in which needles are selected. Design Knit, these are in pink. Design Knit will recognize these symbols in pink and will manage the needle selection accordingly. Tuck knitting and slip stitches do not select, but thread lace and weave stitches will select. In interactive knitting, it will remind you to set the carriage or lock for the appropriate technique. For Japanese machines where there are two colors per row, Design It will know that an area is ferrule, but if the selected color also has the thread lace symbol, it will recognize that and give the appropriate instructions. Symbols which are not directly connected to knitting instructions and knitting selection are memo symbols and they can be added to indicate and procedures such as shaping instructions without affecting the download. There are also symbols here for charting instructions for double bed. For hand knitting there's a variety of symbols here for both plain and decorative knitting shaping techniques both knitwise and purlwise. Smart symbols also indicate where to turn your knitting and other special functions in as well as the charts for both color charts and abbreviation charts and text patterns. You can print out the key for the meaning of the symbols and their associated abbreviations to include with your chart and text pattern. And that's this text button here. I'll bring it down a little bit so you can see it. It's showing here this is the symbol knit the abbreviation is knit and the, the word is knit. This is here's our twisted knitting instructions. This is the symbol knit through the back of the loop right here. This is slipwise 
knit side. This is a slip purl wise. This is a cast on knit method. This is a cast off decline method. Let's close this. Okay, we're back to our knitting symbols organizer. When I click on any of these, it's showing me where in the pattern this is, and it also shows me here the instructions that I would need to do on my knitting needles to accomplish this task for this particular stitch. Let's look at this stitch here. This is a, it says here, knit through the back of the loop. This is a twisted stitch. This one here next to it is a knit, is a purl through the back of the loop, which is an, also a twisted stitch. This here, if I click on it, it says here, cast off. This one here is yarn over, and it's shown here. The machine knit lace stitches are here if you have the lace tool add-on, and we'll discuss this in a separate video. The on-screen textures have a little orange square at the bottom, and you can see they're here and there the stitches up here and these twisted stitches here the blue left hand corner stitches are have no instructions allocated to them that's these double bed techniques and some of these over here the method that i'm going to be using for this particular one it's set up currently as a hand knit pattern flat pattern we could make it circular if we want to stocking that stitch and knitting at the right side of row one of the chart. If I want to switch to a knitting machine, I can do this here, and it's I'm going to be knitting on the SK840, and right now we're set up for wrong facing textures, which is fine because we're going to be doing a weaving technique. I can go back to hand knitting right here. I'm going to say OK to continue. The next thing that I can do is I can say alerts. I can pick this stitch and I can say alerts. Here's the stitch that we just picked. I can give it, let's say, an asterisk sound. And you can hear the sounds. It has different sounds for each. And you can assign these so that when you're knitting interactively, the when it reaches a row with this symbol, it will give you this sound so that it reminds you that you're going to need to do something for this particular symbol. This is copy this to disk, your, your palette, and this is brings up the context sensitive help, which talks about the related information directly related to what you're working on at the time. You can change the text instructions here. We just discussed this so that it's exactly as you want it to be. These changes will be embedded in the pattern, but you can also create a set of instructions that you can apply when you need to. We can take things away from our palette by simply dragging them back to the knit right font. It's shown here that we've just moved this one. Let's take this one out. It's over here now. Let's take this stop character out. When I want to add stitches, I can add, let's say this this one here for pick up three floats and knit, bring it over. Let's add this symbol here. This is the thread lace symbol. This is the slip symbol for machine knit, knitting, etc. So I can take things out by bringing them back this way. I can bring them back this way. I can also take, this one is pick up two floats and I can pick, put it on top of another one and it will it will change that pattern for me. I say OK to continue and you can see here in the palette on the bottom that we have these stitches symbols waiting for us to use in the knitting fabric. Thank you.